Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not <coughs> adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Sancti Michael Archangeli, defendi nos in predio, contra nequitiam et insidias diaboli esto presidium, impedidiri Deus supices deprecamur, tuque princeps militiae celestis, satana mariosque spiritus manignos, quod perditionem animarum pervagantur in mundo, divina virtute infernum trude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we enter into these glorious mysteries on this Saturday, which is every Saturday is dedicated to Our Lady, and this last day before the beginning of Advent, the great and beautiful season of Advent, the new year of the Church's calendar that will begin tomorrow, we pray again for the holy souls in purgatory. And today's meditation will finish with a beautiful story of conversion. If you can stay or if you can listen to it later today, please do so. Uh, I, think you, I think you'll really appreciate it. And special greetings to all those praying with us from Kenya. Christine, I will certainly pray for the repose of your mother's soul, uh, for Joyce, for the repose of Joyce's soul. And thank you very much for joining with us uh, from throughout the world. I mean, sorry, thank you for joining all those from throughout the world from Kenya. And greetings also to Angelina. Angelina, if I've heard right, you are just now passing between primary and secondary school and asking for prayers for your exams. And so if I've calculated right, that would put you at about 12 years old. And I will certainly pray for your school, Juja St. Peter's School, which looks beautiful. I looked at it online. Looks like a very good school. And for you and all of your family, so please pray for the other children your age throughout the world that all families and children might grow in holiness and give courageous witness to the faith in these difficult times. And then for so many in need of healing, including little Luke, who's just five years old, uh, for Christopher. And in Thanksgiving, someone asked for prayers. We prayed just last week for a gentleman who was dying and it seemed like he had a very holy and peaceful death. And so the family expresses their gratitude for our prayers. That was a private intention, so I won't mention the name. And for all those discerning their vocations and in need of guidance. St. Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and all his minions, and protect us with thy mighty staff. Thou fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children, fathers, mothers, families, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while thou art near. So we beg of thee, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Joseph, the terror of demons, pray for us. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of your divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in union with all the holy masses which are said throughout the world, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord from the dead, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <coughs> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thine mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, zeal for the salvation of souls. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. <coughs> Excuse me. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, true devotion to Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven and Earth. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, the grace of final perseverance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. 
O Jesus, I choose to live this day for love of Thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To Thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To Thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, Thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of Thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God, through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pour His graces upon each one of your families, Benedictio de Omnipotentis, Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maniat semper. Amen. Thank you very much for being part of this Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade. And we'll have now one of the last day's meditations. There's very few days left in these 30 days for the Holy Souls. And the meditation today has a beautiful conversion story that I think you'd really uh, would be uplifting for you to hear. And so if you're able to, please stay with us now while I read this. And uh, my apologies for the coughing and uh, during the rosary. I'm sure it's not very pleasant to listen to while you're praying, but God willing, my throat will be fully operational uh, again very soon. And that won't be something you'll have to hear. So this is the 26th day of prayer for the soul suffering for attachment to earthly things. Many souls are suffering in purgatory for having been too much attached to earthly possessions. Offer for their relief some indulgenced prayers. Catholic doctrine declares that souls who depart this life with the stain of venial sin or with forgiven mortal sins not fully atoned for are detained for a season, for a longer or shorter period, according to their guilt, in the flames of purgatory where they are cleansed from every defilement and every spot, prepared for heaven. There they suffer the pangs of ungratified desire. There they are desolate with grief because their sojourn is prolonged. There they are grievously afflicted because he who is to be their reward exceedingly great is far from them, and they are shut out and deprived for a time of their inheritance and portion in the land of the living. They thirst after him whom their souls love, as the parched land thirsts for the autumn rains. They long for him as the weary traveler longs for refreshment and shade. They pine for his possession as a mother pines for her lost and only son. They are sick with grief as the bride when the bridegroom tarries. Ah, who will describe their anguish? Who will express their bitterness? Their love is the measure of their distress. And insofar as a finite nature will permit, their love is and its object is the infinite God, God the unlimited, the boundless, the only absolute beauty. To measure their grief, then, we must measure God's loveliness. To gauge the depth of their pain, we must sound the bottomless abyss of God's perfections. But who can do this? Let it suffice, then, to say that their pains are beyond all computation and exceed all thought and power of utterance. Such is the doctrine of the Church of Christ. What a perfect flood of light it casts over the being of God! Into what startling relief it brings out the dazzling brightness of His purity, which cannot suffer a sin-stained soul to approach it! How wondrously it reveals His hatred of sin and His abhorrence of all defilement! How it lights up in a word the whole position of God, and points to Him as the center and circumference, circumference, the beginning and end, the Alpha and Omega of all things. 
All things become desirable or undesirable, pleasant or unpleasant, good or bad, merely as related to Him. His attitude determines and regulates all things, gives to them their fairness and attractions, clothes them with grace and beauty, and makes them what they are. So soon as the soul has shuffled off its mortal coil, it finds itself, so to speak, within the circle of God's attraction. It is impelled toward Him with the utmost violence, as the meteor is impelled toward the earth. What now happens? There may be no grievous sin to raise an impenetrable obstacle, a wall of brass between it and God. Nevertheless, if there be but venial sins, or the slightest failing, imperfections light as air, they will act upon it as the atmosphere upon the meteor. They, they check it, they retard it, impede and interfere with its union with God, till in its anguish the soul burns and wastes away with unsatisfied desires until every trace of sin is destroyed. If but once open to the beatific vision, even but for one brief moment, the eyes of the soul can never close again without inexpressible pain. To close them and shut out that vision is agony. Not one instant's enjoyment of the sight of God can be forfeited without this acutest suffering. On this earth we may consent to live on without seeing God, but this is solely because we have never seen Him. Once we see God, then to live any longer without seeing Him is impossible. For such a one all true life has ended. The soul may yet exist, it must exist, but it is only in the throes of death. Eternal death is, in fact, nothing more than the eternal closing of the eyes upon the vision of God. Hence the eternal darkness. Hence, too, the unending death. Such is hell. On the other hand, so long as the eyes may yet hope one day to see, the soul is only in purgatory. The thought of that longed-for moment sustains it. Yet each excessive instant that must first elapse flows by as an unmeasured sea of bitterness and grief. Yes, for to be restrained when we would feast on the glory of the infinite is to suffer the pangs of an inconceivable hunger. The pains of sense, even of hell itself, are light and easy to support compared to that. Nothing but that seems quite unendurable. Ah, God, Thou art verily our all, Deus meus et omnia, Without thee, all else is nothing. If thou smile upon us, our joy overflows and drowns all care and sorrow. Hide thy countenance for a moment, and we are troubled. Cast us off utterly, and we wither away. What is heaven itself? God securely possessed. What is hell? God eternally lost. And what is purgatory? God hidden, hidden for a time as the sun is hidden by the passing clouds. When God is thus hidden, then the soul is deprived of light and warmth, and beauty and comeliness, as the earth is deprived of beauty when night lies thick over mountain, plain and valley. We may aid our suffering brethren by our prayers and sacrifices. These imprisoned souls are no strangers to us, but most dear and honored friends. Heresy, thank God, has built up no impassable barrier between us and those we once knew and loved, and who have now passed away. They are still our friends, yea, more our friends than ever, and we may still extend toward them a helping hand in the hour of their trial. Let us hearken to their cry. Have pity on me, at least you, my friends, and do our best to succor them. And now this beautiful story of conversion the following story showing the interest taken by the holy souls in those whom they loved on earth was related by the Reverend Father Schroeder in a sermon he preached in the cathedral at Munich, Munich, Germany. And he said he had the details from the priest to whom it occurred. Late on a stormy evening, a priest of one of the parish churches of Vienna opened the door himself on hearing a loud ring at his door. A lady entered saying she had been sent to require his immediate attendance for a gentleman in danger of death, adding that the distance was considerable, and begging he would take the holy viaticum. As soon as the priest was ready, she accompanied him to the parish church to procure the blessed sacrament, and said she would go before to show him the way. The night was wild, 
and before they had reached their destination, a house in the suburbs, a hurricane was blowing and the snowstorm was terrific. The lady stopped saying, this is the gentleman's house, and she rang the bell. As the door was not opened, she did so a second time. On looking around, the priest found she was gone. Then the window was opened, and an elderly gentleman called out to know what was wanted. The priest answered that he had been hurriedly sent for to attend a dying man. There is no dying man in this house, the gentleman answered, and no one is sick. It is quite a mistake. And he was about to close the window when, moved by a natural feeling of compassion for the poor priest, he could scarcely, who could scarcely stand, he added, but if you would like to take shelter till the storm is past, you are welcome. So he opened the door and showed him into a sitting room and set his lamp down on a table. He then threw open a door at the other end of the room and disclosed a small oratory in which there was an altar, a large image of our Blessed Lady, and a lamp burning before it, saying, There you can deposit your burden. The priest placed the Blessed Sacrament on the altar, lighted two candles, made his genuflection, and re-entered the room, saying, I am sorry to have disturbed you, but at least I can see the mistake has brought me to the house of a good Catholic. There you are entirely mistaken, replied the gentleman. I am an unbeliever, and glory in so being. No doubt you are astonished at finding a chapel on an altar and lamp burning, but if you like, it is impossible to attempt returning during this whirlwind. I shall explain the meaning. He then told the priest that his mother on her deathbed had made him promise to keep that lamp burning as long as he lived, and that in that oratory she had daily prayed, and that he, when a child, had knelt with her. Then he spoke eloquently in praise of his mother, told of her goodness, her piety, her love of the poor, her only fault being her attachment to the Catholic faith, which he excused as an illusion which had done no harm to anyone and made her happy. Probably for many years he had never spoken of his mother to his own associates, but to this stranger whom it was likely he would never see again, he poured out his whole heart and seemed to take a strange delight in recording all his mother's excellence and her love for him. How she always said, Hans, my son, I shall never cease begging Our Lady for your conversion. And when dying, she said that, when in the presence of God, it would be her first prayer that he might return to the faith. The priest, well versed in the science of souls, questioned him and lured him on to talk. He told him how he had once been a good Catholic, how he had discovered that religion was all nonsense, what a life he had then led, how he had grieved his mother, for which he was sorry, adding that the least he could do was to remain faithful to his promise. And though he never looked at the altar, he took care the lamp should be kept burning all through these years, for she had been long dead. He suddenly arose, took the lamp, and said, See, here you may see her portrait, and held the light up to a large oil painting, which the priest instantly recognized as the portrait of the lady who had conducted him to the house. Feeling that a supernatural mystery was being enacted, he concealed his emotion and continued encouraging him to speak more and more. The night wore on, the hurricane ceased, neither seemed to heed it. Sorry. Uh, the night wore on, the hurricane ceased, and neither, that neither the priest nor the gentleman seemed to heed the fact the hurricane had stopped, and to bring the story to a close, by three o'clock the penitent was kneeling at the priest's feet, bathed in tears, making a full confession of his whole life, and in such good dispositions that the priest gave him then and there Holy Communion at his mother's little altar. They stayed some time longer together, and before dawn the priest took leave, promising to return on the following day and pay him a visit. He kept his word, but on arriving at the house, he heard that the gentleman had died. He had been found dead in his bed that morning, we may suppose the priest thanked God very fervently for the wonderful grace he had granted that soul.